Okay, guys, so we are still exploring the Radis ecosystem. Um, the first video we'll talk about what is Radis. We'll just give you a brief overview of the partners, Rad Bucket program, and the other. The second video, we'll talk about the Rad Bucket program. And then the third video, we'll talk about uh, what is in for developers in the Radis ecosystem. We'll talk about how sustainable it is to develop projects on Radis. And also talking about uh, the issues of simplicity. Now, we're talking about some of the partners and that we're able to make this platform uh, uh, really good. And one of the things I want you to know is that Radis is designed with uh, decentralized finance in mind. And this is a project that has six years uh, plus uh, in, the, in the making, in the building. So the Radis platform has some, uh, some partners for now. and the like of Rain, Stakehood, Copper, Argent, and Water. And then we will touch uh, briefly on uh, each of the partnerships. So these are not partnerships. You know, some of the times we read partnerships on and they say X is partnering with Y, and you cannot even know what they are, what they are doing. There are no details about what they do. So let's start with Rain. Now, if you are really conversant, Rain is a project uh, that helps uh, build uh, the, uh, the, the DeFi ecosystem. So uh, right now, there is a need to transition some assets to another chain. We'll have the likes of uh, BTC. So. And you cannot really put uh, BTC on the Ethereum system. And you can use platforms like Rain Protocol. So if you have something like, uh, they have what we call the Rain BTC, uh, or they have soft, soft, something called the Rain uh, uh, Zek, and then they have Rain uh, ETH. So uh, with the Rain BTC, uh, there is a one-to-one a, a -one conversion ratio. So once you this is the this is the rent platform. This is your BTC. So once you send forth your BTC to this rent platform, it is locked, and then they issue you rent BTC. So this rent BTC, it's a a, a BTC that uh, that is compliant with the particular chain, let's say Ethereum, and you can port this stuff now to uh, Ethereum apps or D apps, Ethereum D apps. And then you can use it to do things like borrowing and the rest of them. So uh, the Radis platform partnering with Rain, it's to bring assets like this that because there are a lot of people who hold BTC, a lot of people who hold Ethereum, a lot of people who hold this uh, uh, Zcash. So once they bring things like this, uh, it will help uh, transition liquidity to the uh, Radis platform. So if you're building decentralized applications, you will not be worried about where do I get liquidity from, right from the go, uh, Rain makes that possible. The next platform is the stakeholder. So a lot of part, uh, platforms, even apart from uh, uh, Radis, have partnered with stakeholders. So what they are basically concerned about is they, are, uh, they, they provide liquidity for uh, sta uh, staking platforms and the rest of that. And then Agent, if you've used the Agent uh, mobile app for iOS and also for Android, you will discover that with the agent platform, uh, you don't really need things like MetaMask and the rest of them. You will only need a mobile app and uh, you can plug into your most of the Ethereum decentralized applications. So partnering with them is that uh, to make uh, for, uh, this is for user adoption. Because at the end of this, guys, it says simplicity is the optimal sophistication. So if your platform is so simplistic enough that people can access it via mobile, uh, it to be good so the partner with uh, agent for that platform and then for uh, no eta the no eta it's to actually help uh it's like a bridge so um this is ethereum and this is radius so if you are already you already uh, your app is already on ethereum and you want to cut it to uh to radius the no eta platform is there to have or you are a Ethereum developer and you would like to uh, develop using Radius, the new Ether platform is also there to help you move faster. And then we'll have uh, the likes of Copper also contributing to the ecosystem. So it's definitely a platform you can uh, look. Thank you very much.